Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a reading for all signs. Keep in mind that this will not resonate for all of you. If you like a personal reading, I'll leave in that description down below. Another thing you do is we also have memberships on the channel, so you go ahead and enjoy, become a member, get access to all those perks. Okay, so getting into it, two cards for the collective. We have number 34, Spirit of Warrior. Number 25, Blessings of the Supreme Being. So, these two cards, number one, starting with this one, you're about to have a big blessing coming your way from the divine. This is big. Something you've been wishing for, hoping for, it's coming your way. And what this card talks about is you're never alone, even when you feel like it, even if you feel like when things aren't right, uh, you're kind of questioning things, keep going. Even if there's a lot of chaos going on, just keep going. Okay. So let's do Aries. So who's coming towards the sign of Aries, please? Mm -hmm. Hmm. So we have the Justice card, that's Libra energy. Two of Pentacles, Reverse. Three of Swords. Aries, if you were dealing with someone that was indecisive before, I get them making a decision, either between you and another person, or just a decision, period. And I do get them trying to make things right for you, right between you, Justice Card being here. Whoever this is, that they're, they themselves feel hurt. Three of Swords. So let's see the messages for you. Number 14, message of concern. We have twin flames. Observe. We have beliefs. We have regret. Let go of control issues. We have free yourself. Romantic feelings. Okay. Aries, I do feel like the feelings are there between you and this person. But let me tell you something. If this person... If they got a lot of issues going on, they have a lot of... Just drama attached to them. Let them go. If you, if you, if they are causing hurt in your life, if they have another person, because that's also coming up, let them go. Okay? If that's not your case... They may need to let something go to be with you, and I feel like you're going to receive some sort of news about it. You're, you're going to receive some sort of concerning news about this person. Aries, I get them finally making a decision about something. So whatever they were like indecisive about before, I feel like they're, they're finally making that decision. Okay. You tell me how that goes. So, let's move on to the sign of Taurus. So who's coming towards Taurus? Who's coming towards Taurus? <laughs> this sounds funny. So we have the star card. It's Aquarius energy. You have the Knight of Cups reverse. Three of Wands. Taurus, you got this person 
who is waiting for you, hoping for something with you, but do I get them actually making action towards you or pursuing you? No. So it's like you got this person that's waiting for you, but they're not doing anything about it. So they want you, but they're just not approaching you. So let's see messages for you. Taurus, we have self-worth, we have control, solitude, we got masculine, trust, love yourself first, soulmate, and then we have number 10 with journey. Taurus, you know, what's really needed for you is to take some time out for yourself. Is stop. Don't don't focus on this person. Focus on you. Things you want to do. Loving yourself first. Like put this person to the wayside, and just put all your attention on yourself. Okay. So let's move on to the sign of Gemini. So who's coming towards Gemini? Okay. <laughs> we have the Ten of Swords Averse. We have the Death card, that's Scorpio energy. And then we have the Three of Pentacles. You see how conflicting this is? It's Gemini. This person... I'll put this two ways. Either this person here thinks they, they're over you, they let you go, but at the same time they still want something with you, they still want to work on it with you. Uh, second way, if you're meeting a person like this or you already know someone like this, I, you, you might have someone um, let someone else go for you, like they, they choose you if you're the, in that third party situation. I don't like talking about that, but that's also another thing that I get. So let's see messages for you, Gemini. A fifth dimension, romance, we got surrender, family, healing family issues, playfulness, finances and career, number 26, the great fortune. So Gemini, focus, we got a few messages here, focus on your career for now. So you got big money coming in, like if you put your focus towards that, you're going to have something big come in. Now, for the ones that have a family with this person, you two could end up working it out. I, I think that came out in the last Gemini reading that I did, but anyways. Um, for the ones that don't have a family with anyone. I feel like you're going to have a person coming in your life that has a lot of family issues. Like they just have issues. <laughs> so, like they come with a lot of 
baggage. So let's do Cancer. So he's coming towards the sign of Cancer. Cancer. You're going to be better off avoiding this person. You have the Tower Reverse. Three of Swords. The Five of Swords. Avoid whoever this is. It feels like you're going to have a lot of conflict with them. You're going to have a lot of hurt. It just feels like you're going to have a lot of issues. Like this person has a lot of issues and they're going to cause issues between you and them. So we got transformation. We got feminine. Separation. Some of you could be separated from this person. We have balance. Number 34 with occupation. We got codependency. Unrequited love. And you deserve love. Cancer, you deserve someone so much better than who, who this currently is. Someone that you already know about. So it's telling me that they don't even really like genuinely love you. Unrequited love being here. So just kind of focus on yourself. Things you want to do and you deserve someone so much better. Like you're going to have someone better come in your life than this person here. So let's move on to the sign of Leo. Who's coming towards the sign of Leo? We have the Five of Pentacles, the Tower, Nine of Wands. You're gonna notice this person unexpectedly be distant towards you. Maybe not really speak a whole lot. If something happens between you where they become distant and either you guys stop talking or the communication between you is like not that great. So we got potential, loss, journal, outcome, retreat, honeymoon, we got true love, number 39 with community. So Leo, the funny thing about yours is if you dealing with someone like this or you encounter someone like this later down the line you too might go through a period of like like being distant from one another not really speaking but there's a thing you, you two might actually get back together here or start speaking again because there's actually a lot of potential 
between you and them. So isn't that something? So let's move on to the sign of Virgo. So who's coming towards the sign of Virgo, please? The Knight of Swords. We got the King of Pentacles, that's Earth Energy. Four of Swords of Earth. You got Virgo. You got someone returning to you. Someone that you've been on a break with. It could be an air sign or a earth sign. And this person is gonna come in soon. Like with that Knight of Swords. Coming in quick. Okay. Who are you? You have unawakened. Offered. We got free will. Rise above. Wedding. Chemistry. Express your love. Number one with main male. So that can be you or the person you're dealing with. Um, Virgo. This is completely your own free will, whether you deal with this person or not. What I do get is someone making an offer for a relationship, a committed relationship, or an offer for engagement. We have offer um, a wedding. But it's up to you on whether or not you entertain this person. Like that's completely your own free will. Okay. So, let's do Libra. So who's coming towards the sign of Libra, please? Wow. We got the Strength card reverse. That's Leo energy. Page of Cups reverse. Seven of Wands reverse. So this is a person that's kind of given up. They're not speaking to you, and it feels like you're giving up energy. It kind of feels like they're done. They're not putting in effort anymore. We have soulmate, awakening, we got big goals, mirroring, number 25 with high honor, reconciliation, children, something about children here, and then we have worth waiting for, so two things for you Libra, for the ones, this came out for Gemini too, for the ones that have children with someone, you two can end up reconciling and fixing things. Um, if you know that's not you, what I, I feel like you could end up reconciling with someone, but what I also feel like is you got someone else coming in as well. This is like later down the line, it's not immediately. Like you're going to be waiting a while for that. What I feel like for you, Libra, is like you're going to have 
someone else come into your life that's going to feel like a very like a soulmate energy and it, it kind of feels like they're a go-getter you got two cards of big goals here achievements so they're all about their success you know they, they achieve things so let's do Scorpio so he's coming towards the lovely sign of Scorpio <laughs> We got the higher event, that's Taurus energy. Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. So someone very interesting. So this is someone that you walked away from. And since since you walked away or they walked away, whatever, whatever happened, doesn't really matter. Um, they become more committed to their work, their school, whatever they do. Like whatever brings them success. That's what their more that's what their main focus is. We got fertility, Scorpio, so <laughs> just be careful. We have inner child, sacred journey. We have denial. We're in denial here. Release your ex. Religious factors. Heart to heart conversations. And then we have number 19, the coffin. Scorpio. Let go of the X. Stop hanging on to it. Like, let it go. Release it from your energy, because it's, it's still popping up. Some of you may not even be aware of that, that denial card there, but that's that's what it's, what it's telling you. Like, let that go and focus on yourself. Enjoy your life. Let's move on to the sign of Sagittarius. So who's coming towards Sagittarius? We have the Knight of Cups, we have the Fool, that can be seen as Aries energy, and we have the Ace of Swords of Earth, so... Sagittarius, you got a newer person coming in your life that I feel like is going to show you a lot of interest. The only problem with them is we have the Ace of Swords of Earth, so maybe they don't like tell the truth fully, or they don't speak. And they don't get out their feelings, but I get, I get you having like a newer interest, love interest that's going to be really interested in you. But either they don't like express themselves fully or they, they don't tell the truth.
the stairs. Whenever I do your readings, it's like you have all these different cards that want to fly out, and that you know usually that's fine, but you'll have like half the deck fly out, which is just too much. You got too much going on. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> we have spring, so we are in the springtime. We have ascend. Hesitation. Appreciate. Give your relationship a chance. We have let your friends help you. Separation. Number 23 with courthouses. Something about courts here. Sagittarius, why does it feel like you got a newer person coming in soon, sometime in the spring? You might meet them through a group of friends or when you're just out, like, being social. Um, and I see you, like, having this hesitation. Someone has hesitation to approach the other one. Um, some of you may have separated from someone recently. Or they did. Let's do Capricorn. Who's coming towards the sign of Capricorn, please? Ooh. We have the Eight of Swords reverse, King of Swords reverse, that's air energy. Four of Swords reverse. You got heavy air here. I do get a person making a return to you, but what I also get, I don't get them being that open. I don't get them expressing their feelings. So they're going to return to you, but they're still going to be closed off. Okay. So we got full, alone, summer, blessings, number 20 with house, so something about a house here could be fixing up your home, getting a new home, you got very soon, flirt and deception, you know, you do got someone coming in very soon to you, it feels like, a, like this, this person returning to you. that leading to anything though like I get them maybe like flirting with you but I don't get them like I don't know they got something going on where I don't I don't see them being open to you so I feel like your 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 best spots for love I guess is gonna be either the summer or the fall Do Aquarius. So who's coming towards the sign of Aquarius, please? Mm -hmm. We got the Six of Swords averse. Five of Pentacles. We got the Nine of Pentacles, Aquarius. <laughs> Aquarius. I don't actually see this person making a move towards you. This is someone that you stopped speaking to. Now they can't. I don't get them speaking to you. I get them kind of being single, like they don't. They're they're in this energy of like. I don't really need Aquarius. I don't like them, but at the same time, they can't let you go.
We have split energy. Divine timing. Hidden path. Yes. Number 30 with judge occasion. Something about judges. What this can also talk about is... We're going to get into that later. Hold on. We have calling in your soulmate. Make the effort. New love. So you got a newer person coming in, not, not this person. I don't really see them doing anything. This old person, past person. You got someone newer coming into your life, and this is something that comes in unexpectedly. It's not something you're going to be aware of. It's kind of like when you're just doing your own thing and then they just pop up. And you're like, huh. <laughs> but you are calling in this person. It's going to happen at the right time. And Aquarius, this can go either way. It's a 50-50 chance. Like, it's going to be up to you on whether or not you make that effort or what you do. But it does not feel like this person's in your life yet. So let's do Pisces and then I'll be a last sign. So who's coming towards the sign of Pisces? We have the moon, six of cups, the nine of cups. This is water energy, big water energy from them. Pisces, I get that you got this person here who secretly misses you. This is someone you're already aware of. Now, if you're wishing for like a, a, someone to return to you, or you're, you're wanting someone here, it doesn't even have to be a return, like you're thinking about them, I do see you getting your wish. So I feel like they're also thinking about you while you're thinking about them. And you may not be aware of this. Community cycles, fear, receive. This could be the one. It is safe for you to love. We got passion. And number three with marriage. So why did you get the best reading out of them all? Um, Pisces. You realize you got a person here coming in. They could lead to marriage, they could be the long term, they could be the one, you know, all that. Okay. <laughs> I like it. I don't know what you did, but good job. So, that is all I have for you. Let me know if that resonates, and I will see you all later.